Well, today we are recognizing the history of organized labor in San Antonio. Ken's five photojournalist Alan Kozlu gives us our first look at the city's labor plaza. A dedication to labor on Market Street. I can still see 600 Farrah Manufacturing Company workers walking off their jobs in May of 1972. Joan Suarez reads the quote she had engraved as part of the new Labor Plaza in the public art garden on the Riverwalk. They went through their, their, uh, uh, their ups and downs and pains and trying to get the project underway and, and moving along, but it came out beautifully. It commemorates the organizing drive and eventual 22-month strike that brought her to San Antonio, where she would stay for 17 years. Um, they, they'd had enough of, of uh, injustice. They'd had enough of Farah not responding or listening to them. She was one of six union leaders honored at the dedication of the plaza today. Also honored, Executive Vice President Emerita of the San Antonio AFL-CIO, Linda Chavez Thompson. I'm so glad to see you. Yeah, me too. It's been a while. Yeah. When, when, uh... Chavez Thompson sees the new plaza, which features poetry and artwork dedicated to organized labor, as both a recognition of the contributions union labor has made in the past and a way to attract the labor leaders of tomorrow. We're hoping that what it means is that it gets into the minds of the younger generation coming up and saying, that could be me. Uh, I'd like for it to be me. Uh, I'm going to do everything I can so that it can be me. From downtown, Alan Koslu, Ken's Five.